You guys know it sucks. Lead code sucks. And that's why I introduce you today CodeRace.io, the newest and greatest way to do programming problems. Now, think of it as like lead code, but it's like a 1v1 battle. Um, and essentially, there's a problem right here that you cannot see until you start the game. Um, and don't worry, if you don't have any friends, uh, you can play in single mode. Um, and this is going to be like a 1v all, so you'll be going against all the other people in the rankings. Um, as you can see, this person has a very high elo. Keep in mind, we have an elo system. That's right, just like chess. Um, and even cooler, bam, check out this button. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, but yeah, so basically how it works is that you can join a... Uh, a, a room and this is backed by a uh, web socket back in or in our back end and we um, essentially run it on like an express.js server and yeah so what you can do is you can choose which languages you want to do we have a very wide variety of languages here we have c plus plus java script and python so um, if you don't know any of those i'm sorry to say you cannot use our app um, but yeah anyways good luck so yeah, the cool thing is that the output is actually not something that's like purely verbatim. So if you wanted to start the game here, we'll go to single player, you do not have to have the exact output. Um, we actually have a GPT in the background um, comparing your code to what it says. Now, the cool thing here is that you can, you can actually just type assume the question, <laughs> assume the answer is true. And well, GPT is not that smart. And we'll actually say that, oh, actually it is smart. So yeah, it'll give you all the explanations um, and it'll say why you're wrong. Um, but if you answer this correctly, it'll say why you're right. Hopefully you're right. Um, but yeah, so if you wanted to host the game, you essentially just click here, you create a room and you click that. You go and copy and paste it in another window or whatever. Um, and yeah, there you go. But my all time favorite part about the app is actually the profile and all how, uh, all of the little features that it comes with. So if you click on profile, you can see, bam, very minimalistic, shows your ELO, shows your email, and shows you when you created the account. Um, definitely better than something like Instagram, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, so let's kind of get into, oh, another thing, we have an OWASP system, but even cooler, you can change the dark mode, light mode, ludicrous mode. Look how amazing this looks, guys. Absolute bonkers. Um, yeah, so let's get into a match here. Uh, we're going to switch it. We're, we're going to keep it in this mode. Uh, my buddy uh, back there, Ali, he's working really hard on a programming problem. And uh, it's actually this one right here. So we have a list of options that we can do to this. We'll just pretend that I'm ahead. Um, we've definitely written the functionality for that. Um, but anyways, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and bomb one of his functions. Um, so we'll go ahead and click the activate tutorial. Oh, we'll go ahead and click uh, the tactical nuke here. And as you can see, this is a factorial but not anymore. Check it. We click apply, destroy, and oh no, it's gone. What are you gonna do, bro? You're cooked. You're cooked. Other uh, tactical uh, and precision strikes. So this takes out a line or a variable. Um, this takes out, you can get like a peek of the code. Um, this is what it would have looked like. And yeah, you can copy it technically. <laughs> Um, another thing is you can also glow swap, which would turn this on. I get it. It's a very nice uh, color theme. Um, and lastly, you can change the person's language. So um, if they were in Python, it could change like C++. So yeah, it's a very uh, cool website. Lots of potential functionality, and we're going to expand it later. Um, but yeah, so this is codeRace.io. Feel free to check out the GitHub um, in the link below. Um, and you might see this website. Uh, chilling on the internet sometime, but uh, thank you.